what is going on guys well today I wanted to talk about two subjects that keep coming up in a lot of my YouTube videos and that is one game sharing and two how to unlock your PlayStation 4 games now first off I wanted to talk about game sharing because um, it's a really touchy subject a lot of people don't consider it touchy until you get your account stolen so one thing I wanted to talk about game sharing, if you guys want to find out how you can game share, I have a separate video on that, just go ahead and check out my channel. I'll actually have a link in the video description if you guys are interested in that. But today I wanted to let you guys know, and I can't stress this enough, do not game share with anybody you do not know. Do not game share with a perfect stranger, do not game share maybe with a friend at school or a buddy at work. Um, because I've seen and heard about it ending badly um, a lot of times what you do um, is you share games try to game share with somebody and then they figure out oh I can change this password and then make it into my own account and practically steal your account and this especially happens if you do it over the internet with absolutely nobody you know just a perfect stranger so I cannot stress this enough do not game share with somebody you don't know I've always recommended this in the past if you are going to try to game share do it with a close relative or a very close friend um, friends are a little bit more difficult to to do this with because um, family is always going to be their friends come and go um, just like anything else so again I cannot stress this enough do not game share with somebody you don't know now I wanted to get into how to unlock PlayStation 4 games uh, a lot of people have been asking me about this and I kind of wanted to go over it um, as you guys can see every single game on my PlayStation 4 right now is locked and there's only two reasons why they would be locked one um, let's say Rocket League for instance this was on the PlayStation Plus instant game collection and I downloaded it from there now if you have downloaded games from the PlayStation Plus instant game collection they are only available for you to play as long as you have PlayStation Plus if your PlayStation Plus expires then if you want to go ahead and play one of the games that, that you've downloaded in the instant game collection unfortunately you will have to uh, renew your PlayStation Plus subscription now the other reason why your games might be locked is because the games that you, okay all of these games I have purchased on my monkey flop account as you guys can see here every single one of these games is purchased even the beta I didn't purchase that but I downloaded it and all the games that are downloaded on this PlayStation 4 were purchased from my monkey flop account um, so I'm gonna show you guys really quickly it is pretty simple it's pretty basic so I'm gonna go into my monkey flop account here and as you guys can see all of the games are unlocked because I am logged in to my monkey flop account um, and just to show you um, monkey flop is my PSN name and really quickly all you're gonna need to do if you want to play any of these games they need to be then uh, on a different account then you're gonna need to have the account holder active on your PlayStation 4 so all you're gonna need to do for that is go into settings and then go to where it says PlayStation Network and account management boom activate as your primary for primary PlayStation 4 all you're gonna have to do is hit that activate button and once it is activated you can now go back see it doesn't change anything here and you can now go back um, I'll just log out that way it's easier so you guys can see and now you can go back to your other account or any other account that you'd like and the games are now unlocked 
So I hope that answered most of you guys' questions about how to unlock the PlayStation 4 games because I'm still getting a lot of questions about that and I wanted to kind of make it a little simpler for you. Um, one, you want to make sure you, the account holder that owns the games is activated on your PlayStation 4. Then anybody on your PlayStation 4 can play those games and have access to them. Now games are have their own restrictions and and if you guys have any questions about that let me know in the comment section below because that's a little bit more um, more in detail uh, than I want to go in this video um, but some some game developers have restricted um, game sharing um, even on the same console which is kind of ridiculous um, and then two I wanted to go over game sharing and I wanted to stress that to you guys so much because that is very important don't game share with somebody you don't know you don't want to get your account stolen um, there are ways to get it back um, as long as you have your personal information on your PSN account uh, but you don't want to go through the headache of all that it's not worth trying to trying to get a game um, because for the most part, I mean, most of these games that you're going to want to game share with are going to be dirt cheap pretty soon or even on the PlayStation Plus Sense and Game Collection. Anyways, guys, that's it for me. If you haven't already subscribed, let me know uh, what you guys think about this in the comment section below. Hit a like. That really helps me out. And I will see you guys in the next news update. <laughs> you guys are freaking awesome.